Hi everyone, it's Victor speaking. I hope everyone is well, and uh, I'm here today to actually discuss the very first uh, COVID vaccine injection, which took place on the 8th of December in England. And um, I think it's quite a fascinating chart. So I wanted to share my expertise and my opinion on it uh, from an astrological point of view. So what you will see on the chart is um, that the rising sign is a Scorpio, which has got a deeper meaning and that very much correlates to healing, especially healing some type of past life events or past life traumas. And um, uh, in traditional astrology, a Scorpio is ruled by Mars, which can be located in the sixth house. Um, and I think it's quite fascinating. It very much describes the event um, because um, the sixth house is something to do with public health, vaccines, your everyday activities. And Mars is in rulership here, and not to mention that um, um, it is in its favorite um, house as well. So Mars has got the planetary joy in the sixth house, meaning that's where it can um, impact the most. It can use its energy the most. Um, and looking at that Mars, which has got uh, quite a tight trine to the planet of Sun, which shows the supreme authority, the president, the prime ministers, something to do with uh, judges, um, basically every single person in authority or of some type of distinction. Um, it also represents uh, public heroes and um, national champions. So I believe in a sense, uh, the very first lady who took the vaccine is um, approximately a 90 year old lady. I think she's gonna become a, a national hero in a sense. But if we use the modern uh, ruler of Scorpio, which uh, in mundane astrology, actually, I think it's clever to do because it talks about generations. That is going to be Pluto, which is located in the third house. And, it's, and uh, Pluto is still in conjunction with Jupiter. So if we look at what Jupiter is, that is all about hope. Um, these two together is somehow to expand uh, our mind and uh, revealing the truth as well. Jupiter in this chart rules the fifth house, which is all about fun and pleasure. So this could be suggesting to us that um, we are hopeful or they are trying to give us the hope that we will be able to get back into our normal life, uh, being able to have fun, going to the theater, concerts, and so forth, whatever you like, whatever you like doing for fun. My little problem here um, is that um, I've noticed that Pluto and Mars are squaring each other, uh, meaning um, it won't allow us to enjoy every facet of this um, uh, freedom. Um, as um, Pluto can indicate side effects in, uh, in medical astrology, and those side effects at one point uh, will be re uh, revealed. Um, this also could indicate to us, because we're talking about the square, that the transition won't be as smooth as, um, as the government expects. Um, it is also interesting to see moon right on the mid heaven. Now, moon represents people in Monday astrology. And she is placed in the sign of Virgo, which is all about healthcare as well. It is also pleasing to see the fixed star Vesta right next to Moon. <coughs> Excuse me. So the focus is on the people and the healthcare. Maybe uh, the focus is on uh, those who work in healthcare as well. Um, this could easily indicate that um, they start with healthcare assistants, uh, nurses, and doctors, which we know um, this is the case anyway. However, I also see that Moon is square in the nodes in a very tight aspect, which could indicate that uh, plenty of us are kind of against it and uh, many want or doesn't want to take this vaccine. Uh, this is also kind of suggested by Moon, which is opposing Neptune. 
And this could indicate to us that um, some people might feel misled or some believes it is not the right course of action uh, because um, some of the unknown factors of the vaccine. Uh, Neptune rules anything which is, um, which is about um, unknown circumstances. I also see that Pluto is actually trying in the moon. So the moon is in dial dialogue with uh, quite few planets. And that shows actually a good intention towards uh, people. In that sense, <coughs> sorry, in that sense, Pluto is indicating some type of protection, something to do with giving the power back to people. So overall, I would say that the chart is positive <clears throat> and um, um, the very first uh, vaccine chart kind of indicates good intention behind it, but clearly there is plenty of uncertainty as well, which we need to be aware of. Um, <clears throat> another interesting thing which I have noticed in this chart is that Mercury is in conjunction uh, with the fixed star called Antares, and that is an exact conjunction. <clears throat> so the fixed star Antar Antares can be found on 10 degree of Gemini. And according to tradition, Antares is a violent character, and uh, it is credited with being um, significant for a violent death, either in battles or by process of the law. Um, and also, according to Asian people, Antares brings uh, about fire, weapons, and machineries. So um, especially Antares apparently is a very uh, prominent when it conjuncts with rising sign and, um, or the moon or the sun uh, because it could bring some people eye problem. Now, um, in this case, it is not uh, conjunct in any of the angles, but it is conjunct in Mercury, which um, in medical fields, it could talk about something to do with the lungs, something to do with the breathing, uh, some type of allergic reaction, asthma, and so forth. And the reason why I wanted to mention these is because this Mercury, which by the way, is the planet of news, it is combusted in the chart. And this combustion can show uh, to us that some of the side effects or, or some of the same effects are not necessarily revealed to us. Obviously, sun represents the government. Um, the sun re represents the authority figures. Um, and um, some, of, some of the um, news about um, uh, the vaccine is not presented to us. This also can be shown by the Neptune opposition to Moon, because Neptune has got this type of energy of making us believers, making us hyped up, but at the same time blinded as well. And as I said, Moon represents people in the chart. Another very interesting thing which I have seen in this chart is um, Hugeia. Um, Hugeia, which is in the 10th house. Now, Hugeia actually is in stationary position. Now, I just want to put it out there that um, stationary positions are extremely important. I would say that they are five times stronger, five times more important in a chart than anything else. Um, um, and uh, on top of it, it is um, conjunct in the fixed star called Sirius. So if you are unaware of what Hugeia is about, then Hugeia is basically the fourth largest uh, asteroid, and it has got a, a, an approximately about five years to orbit the sun. And um, um, this fixed star was named after the Greek goddess of health, um, uh, the daughter of um, someone who was the god of medicine. All of a sudden, I can't remember um, his name. So. Um, so Hugeia is very much associated with health, public health, cleanliness, sanitization. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so Hugeia is a very much connected to all these things in astrology. And what bothers me a little bit is that um, um, having Sirius uh, fixed star right on the side of it, which is uh, actually a very fortunate star 
um, it carries uh, fame, honors, and rich people. But according to the tradition with Sirius, we always have to give or give up on something or make some type of sacrifices. Um, uh, it could also indicate that someone is going to die as a famous person. Um, especially that's the case when um, Sirius is uh, placed in the eighth house. So um, this could uh, kind of indicate to us some certain type of um, a fear. And this is exactly what I see um, anyway, that we people are very much divided um, into two groups, whether we should take it or not. Another um, interesting thing which I have seen here is that uh, Venus um, is uh, quite close by to um, uh, the rising sign. And Venus, unfortunately, in detriment, um, which could indicate some type of, again, um, um, uh, skin problem, skin reaction, um, which could um, take place after the uh, vaccine. However, Venus, Venus is well supported by Pluto, well supported by uh, um, moon as well. So we can see um, actually a, a mini ground trine going on here. Um, so it pulls up the Venusian energies um, quite a lot. So overall, I would say that, um, um, that it seems to be useful. It seems to be working. Um, the chart is um, overall quite positive. Um, I also like the fact that Mars has kind of distinguished um, himself from the planet of uh, wounds, which is Chiron. Um, if it was a lot closer, I would have been a little bit more concerned about it. To be honest, I'm one of those who don't necessarily want to take the uh, vaccine. Uh, and that's one of the reasons uh, why I looked at the astrologic chart to see uh, what it suggests. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a clue over, um, over um, what is happening with this uh, vaccine. So everyone take care of yourself and see you very shortly in a different video. Bye-bye.